What's up guys, this is some nine weeks out training footage. Uh, and the way that I have planned out Dallas's training is that it's a three week uh, cyclical pattern. So every three weeks is going to be his heaviest week of movements um, for that specific movement. So it's uh, not the heaviest week on all three movements, but for example, what you're seeing here is the, the heavy week uh, for deadlifts, all right? So we're doing some for, form of a rack pull um, or a weighted hyperextension and then the kind of the peaking of the cycle within the three week uh, periodization is the heavy deadlifts. And that's what you're seeing here. Uh, so basically a lot of warm up sets and then he's going into his max effort sets. Uh, and the way that we're doing the max effort sets is essentially a top end set of about six reps, five to six reps. And then we reduce yes, the load by 10%. Uh, and then do a second set, which again, if you're going all out, that reduction in load for the second set, you're gonna equal a pretty consistent amount of reps as a, as a top end first number set. And then we do one more reduction and then one all out set there. Okay, so it was three working sets total. And that's one thing, when, when I'm showing you guys these videos and we're posting videos, uh, you're seeing essentially the workout in full uh, in terms of volume, things of that. We don't, we don't train high volume. Uh, the effort into every set is high and you either have to chase, you try to chase too many rabbits at one time, you're not gonna catch any of them. So we really just like to keep the, the work, the workload high, uh, the weight on the bar high, and then overall total volume is low. Uh, we, don't, we don't really do a lot of pump sets, stuff like that. So what you're seeing here is what you get. This is how we train all the time. Uh, there's nothing really, that's going on within training that's not within our video footage obviously there's some more working sets in there you know there's some there's some sets that we you know acclimation type sets where we're trying to figure out what weights we need to use for our working sets which which is going to accumulate total volume over time but really what you're seeing here is top end sets uh top working sets of our main movements for that day within the exercise selection that we have so um, this was obviously it was a very very good workout uh, and, and honestly thus far there hasn't been any bad workouts during Dallas's prep for Chicago and you know we plan on keeping it that way doing the best that we can to monitor variables and, and make sure that he's continuing to progress and, and not just beating himself into the ground uh, if he starts to beat himself into the ground we'll, we'll taper back on volume we'll taper back on you know the, the load that we're using for that week specifically just to give his body a little bit of a rest possibly take a few days off of cardio. So there's a lot of different variables that we can use to make sure that we keep training high, obviously increase food as well. Um, you know, but there's a difference here in, in doing what's needed and, and working through uh, sticking points within your diet and working through hard days. I'm not saying if we have one hard day in the gym that we're gonna abandon ship, um, you know, but if we have a hard week, you know, that's a pretty good indicator of biofeedback that things might need to change to some extent in terms of, you know, listening to that feedback to make sure that he continues to progress. Um, you know, hard days are, are absolutely going to be a part of a contest prep. You're in a depleted state for long periods of time, uh, you know, but if you have a hard week in terms of, you know, your strength dropping every time you go into the gym, uh, you're not really getting any type of a pump. Uh, and, and we don't do, you know, extreme blood volumization type workouts but you know there's still there's still a big pump component to what we're doing if you're getting under heavy weight you're moving heavy weight you know in hypertrophy rep ranges you're going to get an increased amount of blood flow during those sessions so if there's there's absolutely no blood flow if you feel like you're just beating yourself into the ground over a week's time span then it's time to reconsider some variables possibly take an extra day of rest reduce volume a little bit there's a lot of different ways to go about it so it just kind of depends on um, you know what I feel is best and, and within our communication Dallas is very very good about communicating there's there's never there's never a time where he leaves something out you know if, and I know if he comes to me with a concern it's a legitimate concern you know he's just not wanting to eat Twinkies and donuts but you know it's something that he really needs in terms of either pulling back on, on the workload or increasing food or, or possibly a little bit of both so you know, that's how we go about approaching the training, uh, trying to keep it as heavy as possible. That's truly what I believe is best for retaining tissue during a prep, uh, you know, working to continue to improve the look of the muscle during a prep and not letting, you know, your, your physique kind of wither away. So that's, that's how we approach training. That's how today's training session went. And uh, look forward to bringing you guys some more footage this week.